MP Biomedicals offers a range of reagent kits for various types of biological and environmental samples. This video is intended to show you how to do a sample processing using MP Biomedicals Fast Prep 5G, followed by nucleic acid extraction with MacBits Fast DNA Kit and Ampure 32 instrument. For the purpose of this demo video, we will be using the sample kits of MacBits Fast DNA Kit for soil. When using the MacBits kits for the first time, be sure to add the recommended amount of isopropanol and ethanol to binding buffer MS and wash buffer S respectively. For the sample kit, we add 3.5 ml of isopropanol into binding buffer MS bottle and mark it. We also add 10 ml of 100% ethanol into wash buffer S bottle and mark it. Begin sample processing, add 100 to 500 mg of soil sample into a lysing matrix E tube. Ensure that there are one third to one quarter of empty space remaining in the tube. Next, add the following buffer to the sample. 980 microliters of lysis buffer S1 120 microliters of lysis buffer S2 10 microliters of RNase A solution Vortex the sample for 5 to 10 seconds to mix. Fasten the mixture to fast prep instrument. Homogenize sample for 20 to 40 seconds at speed setting of 6 M per second. The speed and time can be changed accordingly to different soil samples. Transfer the tube to a centrifuge machine. Centrifuge the mixture at 14,000 G for 5 minutes to spin down the debris. Transfer 800 microliters of supernatant into a clean 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tube. Add 200 microliters of inhibitor removal MS. Mix thoroughly by inverting the tube for 20 times. Transfer the tube to a centrifuge machine. Centrifuge the mixture at 14,000 G for 5 minutes to spin down the precipitate.
For the automated purification of nutric acid using the Mpure 32, user can choose to use either 6 tube formats auto tube on a 16 base if the total samples are 16 or less, or 96 deep well plates if the total samples are between 16 to 32. In this demo, we are showing you how to set up the assay using the 6 tube format auto tube on a 16 base. Transfer 800 microliters of deionized water and 5 microliters of magnetic beads into the first well. When using 96 deep well plates, you can allocate it in the first and seventh well or column. Next, add 400 microliters of binding buffer MS into the second and third wells. If you are using 96 deep well plate, you can allocate it into the second, third, eighth, and ninth well or column. Add 800 microliters of wash buffer S into the fourth and fifth wells. When using 96 deep well plate, you can allocate it in the fourth, fifth, 10th and 11th well or column. Add 100 microliters of DES buffer into the 6th well. When using 96 deep well plates, you can allocate it in the 6th and 12th well. If you don't have time to do the allocating and setting up the assay plate, we can also provide you with the pre-assembled 96 deep well plate. For sample addition, add 400 microliters of supernatant into the second and third wells. When using the 96 deep well plate, add the sample into the second, third, eighth, and ninth well. For the MacBeats Fast DNA Kit for soil, it is recommended to perform the elution step at 55 degrees Celsius. Hence, we shall place the thermal plates below the 6th and 12th well since this will be the wells where the elution step will occur. Slide the reagent plates and tube into the rack. Install the strips as per required. Press on Program. Scroll to MacBeats Soil. Press on the tick to confirm. Click on Start. After the program ends, remove the reagent plate and tube. Transfer eluted DNA from 6 and 12 well to a clean 1.5 ml of microcentrifuge tube. DNA is now ready for PCR and other downstream applications.